This looks like a nice promo for advance. Oh, I mean, I do have 25% off advanced auto parts link in the description below. I swear to God. You gotta be strong. I need a different one. Oh yeah. See how disgusting this transmission oh, blows. Kind of nasty actually. Oh. Is she black? Oh yeah, dude. This sh is dark. <laughs> Watch this shit work. I'm nervous about this one. No fing way. <laughs> You gotta be fashion though. Now you tie this up and you flush it. Practice safe sex. What he said. Q50 back up and running, which uh, was a really big anticipating event. I was kind of scared to start the car. Being that I've never taken the timing cover off or done silicone or anything like that, and the fact that I did it is uh, pretty exciting to me. So we're looking over our data logs. We're making sure everything's okay. Uh, our AFRs are staying at around 1375. Uh, under 14 is what we want. Uh, Cooling temperature is staying under 180, which is awesome. Uh, we're still bleeding it currently. We're gonna let it run for about three minutes before we start draining out the transmission fluid to make sure that the level's good. We're letting the coolant bleed perfectly. We're checking over everything. It seems to be running fine. No knock, no weird noises, no whining. Our brand new reinforced anti-slip bracket is working beautifully. So I can't wait to see what it's gonna be like overload. I just texted Martin right now. I'm gonna see what he says about me sending a few log sims to see if we got the tension right and to see if our AFRs are good and everything throughout the rev range. Just do some street testing and making sure that the car is dialed in before we go ahead and take it on the dyno. The pipple. Hmm. 
All right, so we had the car turned on for a little bit. Everything seemed fine. Engine sounded healthy. But when I got under the car, uh, what you got to do to check the automatic transmission fluid, because it's a sealed case, there's not really any way to check the fluid other than opening it up and seeing if too much pours out or none pours out at all. Uh, being that it's a pressurized system, all the transmission fluid that's in the oil pan, there's like a little fill port that you can open up. And if it pours out, you know, violently, then obviously it's overfilled. If there's a steady stream, then that's usually when it's at its perfect capacity. And if it's dripping out like it just did, uh, recently that means there's not enough transmission fluid in it So we're gonna need to fill a little bit more of that But what I also noticed when I was under the car is that there was a lot of like I, I smelled gasoline for some reason and I just thought just because I was close to the exhaust It was that but we're actually dripping E85 from the fuel filter and if I could show you guys actually that's all E85 and all of it is dripping from This air motive fuel filter right here so I don't have any AN wrenches to go ahead and fix those without scratching it so I'm gonna see what I have in my toolbox to be able to go ahead and tighten that up but I really don't want to mess those up and it really sucks that that's leaking because that's gas you know in a time of desperate need I'm gonna use Silicone RTV liquid gasket. So I hate silicone, but uh, I have a small crack or hairline fracture in like the joint between my AN adapter and my steel braided hose, which makes no sense because these things aren't supposed to leak, but I guess right here is like a weak point. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna RTV it. And I know that doesn't sound like the best solution, but I don't really have a choice right now. And I don't have time to go and get fuel lines and figure out this mess nor like do i even want to go out of my way and do that at the moment i think we'll go and attack that once we get the fuel uh, flex fuel kit installed in here but for the time being we're gonna rtv this what a what a perfect perfect fucking drizzle So we're gonna run it through first through seventh and then we'll uh, get a couple of test runs just to see how it is in the higher RPMs and see how much boost it creates. My phone's dead so I can't send any data logs to Martin but it's cool because uh, I don't expect nothing really from this run before we get on the dyno anyways within the next couple of days or so. So this is more just for me. at around like 3500 rpm so i'm gonna try and keep it below that for the time being so far everything shifts fine power steering feels good all right i'm gonna take a full in a second I 
they're good, but they're just like... They work when they want. What? GoPros. Yeah. So I would keep that mom cannon on them. <laughs> Do you go. feel like you're too far? No, sir. How's it feel? Looks good. Yeah? You look great. All right. So we ended up getting our test runs with the Q50 and I'm really satisfied. Even though it wasn't like the highest numbers or the most PSI, we actually wanted a lower PSI rating due to the fact that we don't have the strongest belt on the rear of the supercharger at the moment. We have the Gates RPM belt, which some people, they're conflicted about it. A lot of people think it's better uh, for meant for higher RPM, and that's not at all what it means. Uh, the RPM belts actually stretch a little bit more, which actually tend to slip a little more. And you cause to have a fluctuation in tension, which gives you different boost pressures throughout the RPM range, which is not what we want. So I'm waiting for the ATV belt to come in. Those are a little bit stronger, a little more sturdier. Right now at 14 pounds of boost, we just want to keep it subtle until we have the new belt come in and then we'll start tweaking it to 16 pounds of boost. But for 14 PSI, the fact that I couldn't tell any signs of slip, uh, we didn't lose any boost pressure throughout the RPM range and we got it all the way to 8,200 RPM, which I mean, the car runs and I didn't smell no coolant. I haven't seen no leaks. So I'm gonna just take that as I fixed the coolant problem, which I'm really happy with. Yes. That's really it. I'm not good with outros, so. All right, let's do a couple more tests.